Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. Um, this week we are using the By My Side stamp set. Super cute. Um, I am doing back to school themed projects today. This is not a back to school stamp set by any means, but I used it to make some back to school themed projects. Now, if you don't have any need for back to school projects, don't worry, you can adapt these easily. Um, but we're gonna color, we're gonna do some fussy cutting, <laughs> and we're gonna make a little lunch box that I think you guys will like. So I have a lot to tell you, so I'm just gonna jump right in today. Um, first thing I wanna remind you, well first let me tell you that next week there will be no Facebook Friday. I know I was gone last week. Next week I'll be in New Orleans for Stampin' Up's uh, leadership event called Backstage. And I just don't think I can swing pre-recording and all that. So next week, we'll all just take a little break from Facebook Friday. I will probably have a special um, ordering um, special, an ordering special while I'm gone. So be on the lookout for that. Um, so this is the last time I will see you guys in August. Can you believe that? The next time will be September 3rd. For second, second, it's crazy. So I have some final reminders, okay? So this month's all-star tutorial, he's the man. Um, I sent these out yesterday. If you've placed an order with me this month, you should have gotten this in your um, email. If your order was over $50, this is free. My um, little project this month is a little boozy caddy, has um, either jelly beans, beer flavor jelly beans, or mini uh, alcohol bottles will fit in here too. So this, if you want this for free, you have to put in an order, minimum $50 by the end of the month. Um, you can also buy it in my PDF store, it's $15. There's 12 video tutorials in here, all featuring this suite, um, designed by 12 different demonstrators. Okay, so there's that. Um, celebration comes to an end at the end of this month as well. So this is the last time I'll see you guys before the end of celebration. Um, I want to remind you that the starter kit special during celebration is fantastic. You get this added planner. I was looking at planners at Target today. I was actually looking for a grid paper notebook. Does that make sense? A spiral notebook that has grid paper in it. And so I just kind of stumbled on the planners. And I was looking at them and none of them are quite as beautiful and awesome as our planner. So the only way to get this is in the starter kit. Um, you also get the Making Plan stamp set and these cute little journals. Hey, you know what? Are one of these grid paper? Well, dot grid. I like to write on grid paper. Do you guys like to write on grid paper? It's just me, it's probably a weird thing. So one of them is blank, not really pretty one. One of them has just lines and one of them is dot grid. Actually, it's this one that's dot grid. You guys know what dot grid is? I don't like it as much as grid paper. It just has dots. But so you'll get those three, the stamp set and the planner in your starter kit this month. Um, the starter kit is $99. You pick out $125. Um, <laughs> Nitty Atten, just saw your comment laughing. That's funny. You can greet me on any video. That's fine. <laughs> I'm glad you found me. Um, starter kit is $99. You pick out $125 of product, your choice. You get all of this for free. There's free shipping. And then you get 20% off your orders for um, the next three months minimum. Um, then you also get my class kits at a discount. You get my PDFs for free because everybody on my team gets those things. Once you're on my team, you get those things. Um, we have swaps. We have contests. We're having an in-person kind of a fun thing in October. So there's a lot of benefits from for joining my team. And if you're not in San Antonio, you can join my team. I have a lot of people from all over the country too. Um, so if you have questions about this, let me know. There will be a link in at the top of this video today when I'm done um, that will take you to the starter kit page. It's also linked at the top of my blog if you're wanting to read all the fine print. Okay, so there is that. Um, this catalog, you know what, and I haven't checked the inventory status report in a few days. I usually check that every single day, and I did, have not checked that. I've been so busy. Two of the things I know for sure have sold out of the, this celebration catalog, the um, tree lot dies, and what's the other one? The note cards. Gosh, I'm drawn totally blank. Is there anything else? You guys will tell me. Is there anything else that's sold out? I, have, I can't believe I haven't checked that. 
but but that's okay because we've got other things we've got 10 other things to choose from um free with a 50 dollars order you can get the seashells embossing folder you can get the gingham embossing folder which we're using today there's a little dot on there we're using that today um you can get the timber embossing folder this is one of my favorites i use this a lot um you can get these i didn't have these to show you last time craft gift boxes they're really big and you just assemble them there if you like to do baked goods these are really good for that so um that's a 50 dollar choice um also the silver foil pack or the gold, or it's not called gold, it's called brush metallic. I think it has copper, brass, and gold in it. So those are all free with a $50 purchase. Um, those silver and gold options, I think, are really good because that's gonna take you through a long time. You know, like you're gonna need foil paper forever. Um, and they're consumables. So if you already have all the stamp sets and the dies that you want, stock up on the consumables then we have some hundred dollar options these are called the aspen tree dies goes with a little bird and um, these are in the annual catalog no holiday catalog right holiday catalog the daffodil dies that's an option too when you spend fifty dollars um these which are called i forgot flowers of home um those are free choice they match a stamp set as well and my favorite the you know i always think I say it backwards. It's the dots and spots die. We've used this a bunch already and we're going to use it today too. We're going to make something that looks like Swiss cheese, <laughs> although it's not Swiss cheese. Um, so I just want to remind you, all of this ends on October 31st. Please don't email me September 1st and say, oh my God, I forgot. I didn't know because that happens all the time and I hate that for you guys. So please, if you want free stuff, those orders to get this free stuff, um, has to go in by the end of the month. Now, speaking of free stuff, my BOGO sale. You guys have been asking me and asking me and asking me. My BOGO sale, it's going to be backwards, is coming up the last three days of August. So my BOGO sale is when I take all my retired stuff and I, um, did I say October? I meant August. Did I say October? end of august i don't know what i said um okay bogo sale i take all of my retired stuff and i price it at whatever price it was and then i take pictures of it and i upload it all onto facebook put it in albums you know stamp sets bundles dies paper all of that um and then you guys pick out what you want and then you go put in an order for regular product that equals that amount. And then I mail you all of that stuff you picked out for free. Like you don't pay for it. So you pay for a regular price order and then you pick out free stuff. You get all the free stuff. Actually do it the other way. But you know what I'm saying. You pay, you order new stuff and I send you retired stuff for free. So this is a big sale, you guys really love it. You're, I've gotten lots of emails. It is a huge job for me and it, I'm still not ready for it, but I think I'll be ready by the time I come back from New Orleans. So BOGO sale, if you've been waiting for my BOGO sale, it will be August 29th, 30th and 31st. Um, I will send out an email the day before with all the details. And I'll probably go live that morning too to explain it and show you guys all the stuff. Okay? Okay. That is that. Um, you know, I'm going to flip you guys over. I'm going to flip you around because I want to show you these things um, and not hold them up. Let's hope that this flips over because last time it wouldn't. Okay, good. Boy, last time I thought, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Um, okay, so let me just tell you guys that this month's Paper Pumpkin, I don't know... What has happened in the last 24, 48 hours? Maybe the video came out or something, but I have been inundated with requests for my paper pumpkin, my um, this month's sunflower paper pumpkin kit. And I haven't even gotten mine yet. Um, but the ones that I've ordered are already spoken for. I've never, I've never had that problem before. Usually I have some that I'm like, you guys, I have leftovers, blah, blah, blah. Not this time. I have no more extra paper pumpkins for this month you guys i warned you about that sunflower kit how beautiful it was and how you were going to want it and now lots of you're like oh my god i didn't 
get it. So don't let that happen to you. September, October, November. These are my favorite, favorite paper pumpkin months. September will be the Halloween kit. Um, 18 treat boxes. You guys know how I feel about treat boxes. Um, so that'll be September. Then they gave us a sneak peek and they sent a little picture of it in my last order and I had set it aside to show you guys and I can't find that paper. Oh, <laughs> ask and you shall receive. It's right here. Look, so uh, September, it was in this, it was in this basket in case you're wondering. September, October, November. So September will be Halloween, and then October, November will both be Christmas kits. So if you want these, you need to subscribe, because I can't guarantee you that I'm always going to have extras. This month, I don't. So um, you don't want to miss out on those, okay? All right, so you have until September 10th to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. This is so cute. Look how they, they painted or something, the candy corn, pink and purple. I don't know. I just love pink and purple with Halloween. I think that's really cute. So anyway, that is coming. All right. Ringed with Nature Club Create. Club Create um, subscriptions are closed right now, but I'm, I opened it, you guys, and y'all like filled it up like immediately. <laughs> I wish that I could take more. And you know, it's funny. Um, yesterday, my husband was helping me with this month's Club Create. And he said, he was being so sweet. He said, you know, when I retire, I will help you with this all the time, and then we can send way more kits out. And I laughed because he doesn't retire for like 20 years, but <laughs> I thought that was really funny. Anyway, if you are in Club Create, September's Club features the Ringed with Nature um, bundle. Um, we're going to make four cards and a treat box. I have an awesome video showing you how to use these dies. The dies are a little bit complicated. Um, well, I wouldn't say complicated, but they're like more than just a die and an embossing folder. There's a lot more that goes to this. So there's a video, I don't know, it's like 30 minutes, something um, in the Club Create PDF. So if you want the tutorials, the PDF is available right now in my PDF store. Um, it's an immediate download. All right. And Club Create people, you're good. If you're subscribed already, you don't have to do anything. Okay. All right. So that is that. Um, and then the thing I'm the most excited about is my Halloween class. Um, when I, it was funny because I didn't know if I was going to be able to get this done. And my husband, he had two vacation days he needed to take before today. Today is his anniversary of being hired many years ago. So he always has to take his vacation days by that, you know, they reset today. So he had two and he's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take Wednesday and Thursday off Thursday. I'll stay home and help you. So then that cleared me up. To, do, to work on my class. Um, so that's what I did on Monday or Tuesday, one of those days, I was able to get my class knocked out because I knew it was gonna help me. So Halloween class to go, it's ready. It uses a scary, cute bundle, really cute. And guess what? There is no fussy cutting in this class. You're welcome. <laughs> there are no dies for these cute little guys, but I designed the whole class without fussy cutting because I knew you guys didn't want to do fussy cutting, especially if you're making a bunch. Um, this die right here is fabulous. And so it, I used it to, to make two of the boxes um, and then it, we use it on a third box, but they're all Halloween treats. Um, the class to go kit will include five projects, PDF, um, it'll include these four adorable washi tapes. I'm going to show you different ways to use washi tapes um, and a bolt of ribbon. Now, if you want to get it with the bundle, you can. And when you, that's option one. And when you get it with a bundle, you get the ribbon for free. That is $69 plus shipping. Um, if you want it without the bundle, you already have it. You don't want to order that. You can get option two. That'll have everything that I just said, minus the bundle, and that is $39 plus shipping. Um, PDF is ready. It's already in my PDF store. Um, you can go click on the top of my blog where it says shop. My PDF store is under that link. Um, and it's it, they're listed alphabetically, so scroll down to Scary Cute. Um, also, if you go back one blog post, I posted a whole blog post this morning about this class. There's a video, um, and all the details are there. Um, there's also a link directly to the PDF in the PDF store there. Now, if you wanna register for the class kit, you have to email me for that registration link. I emailed it out to everybody on my email list this morning. So if you're on my email list, you should have already received that. Check your spam if you didn't get it. Um, 
but if you want the PDF, you just click the link and it takes you right there. I don't have to email that out. Um, Stampin' Up! doesn't let us send link or doesn't let us post links that include a like a payment button when we include product in a class kit. So that's the whole reason I have to send it in an email. That's their rule. Um, but I sent it out to everybody and you can email me. The deadline for this isn't until September 28th and it will be in the mail to you by September 28th. And hopefully you will have it by the 1st or 2nd of October. Okay, that's that. I'm so excited. Um, I wanna also remind you coming in September, the Perfect Partners. Um, these are, there are six die sets that go with current stamp sets that don't have dies. The Apple Harvest uh, is probably my favorite. Um, well, I don't know. I, there's, I love them all. But this is going to be Facebook Friday, the first Friday of September, Apple Harvest, okay? And then there's Yeti to Party. Of course, that's probably my second favorite. That'll be the following week. And then the Piggies that we already did a Facebook Friday for, um, have matching dies now which look at that wagon so cute fresh cut flowers has a matching die lots of dies in these die sets this is a stamp set from the annual catalog it's not in the holiday catalog it's in the annual catalog called trimming the tree it's got some fantastic dies as well and then last but not least the waterfall canyon which i told you guys last time i'm intimidated but also very intrigued by this die set. So we'll just have to see what happens with that one. But these are coming in September, okay? Um, so if you're gonna buy those stamp, if you have these stamp sets on your wish list, don't buy them until September so that you can buy them as a bundle with the dies. Um, and those dies will be limited time only. I haven't been super clear about that. It says September 1st or 30th, but there was also some like, I don't know, there's some like vague, like, well, maybe they'll be longer. I don't know. I, I, that's that, that was my interpretation, so we'll see. Okay, prizes. Tracy Horton and Linda Thomas, thank you for um, sharing my video, Tracy. I know I have yours. Linda, I'm not sure I have yours. Message me your email address. Um, speaking of this, this stamp set, right before I went live, I was on Instagram, and the stamping through the catalog um, Instagram account that it's three Stampin' Up! artists run that account and they were live and Melody was doing a card with this and she was using watercolor pencils and Stampin' Blends together to color this dude. It was amazing. So you can go back and find that Instagram account and catch the replay. It's called Stampin' Through the Catalog. It's a great um, Instagram account to follow. I love, they're my favorite. They are hands down my favorite. All right, I've got a, a bundle to give away. Um, when I'm back in two weeks, I will send the Happier Than Happy, um, Happy Forest Friends bundle, whichever you want to call it, uh, to somebody who shares the video. Okay, 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 what time is it? Two and I dang, I went a little bit late. I was trying to stay 15 minutes. Okay, today we're using lots of Stampin' Blends, okay? Look at my tray, I like it, it's from Ikea. But I don't remember where in Ikea I got it, so I don't know if I could find it again to, to buy some more. Um, if you have not been to Facebook Friday before, and look, I don't know what happened to my host code paper. Maybe it fell back behind, let me look. Um, yep, yeah, is this it? Or is this an old one? Let's see. Is this the host code? It is. Yay. Okay. So if you've never been to Facebook Friday before, welcome. I pick a product, usually just one product, and try to design three projects with it um, so that you have, you know, lots of inspiration and ideas on how to use it. So this week we're using the By My Side stamp set. Um, if you go to pinkbuckaroo.com, you will find this free PDF over there for you. It's got the measurements and the supply list, as well as that host code. Now the host code is important. If you want me to send you these make and takes for free, they are free, yes, absolutely free, with an order. So you put in an order online, $35 minimum, and you have to use the host code. Um, now if your order is over $150, don't use that host code um, because you'll get stamp and rewards, which is free stuff. And I will still send you the make and takes for free, okay? But if it's under 150, please use the host code. If you don't use the host code, I take that as an indication is that you don't want the make and takes, okay? They look like this. They come pretty much everything you need other than the stamps. I don't do any stamping. 
Um, I don't do any embossing either. So this week you'll need this embossing folder. I'm also not using this die, so you'll need that die too. Um, but you can sub. If you don't have these, if you don't have the stamps, you can always sub. This week is an easy one to sub out whatever you have um, if you don't have those. And you can order anything you want on those orders. And if your order, so if your order is $35, you get the free make it takes. If your order is $50, you're going to get a celebration item from Stampin' Up! as well as that PDF I showed you at the beginning. Um, if you get to $100, you can either do two level one celebration items or one of the level two celebration items. That probably makes no sense. If you're new, you're probably like, what did she just say? It's a lot. I know, it's a lot. Okay, let's get started. So I have my computer here because my iPad's not showing comments and I don't know where to put it. Let me see. I feel like it needs to be up high because I can't see really. Let me, let me put it here. So I have my blinds open. You guys, I have a big window right here. And uh, I have my, I usually close my blinds so that I'm not like distracted, you know, by people. My neighbor's driveway is literally like five feet on the other side of my window because we live in a cul-de-sac. Um, but it's going to rain. And you guys, around here, that's a very rare occurrence. <laughs> so I'm like, it was supposed to rain yesterday and it didn't. I was very disappointed. So I got the blinds open. So I'm not going to miss the rain if it rains during Facebook Live. I really like the rain. <laughs> we, if you don't know, we um, are in a serious drought down here in South Texas. Our lake where our boat is, is only, I think it's less than 10% full now. We, we need rain really bad. Okay, today's card, the first card. I saw a card somewhere online that had this, these stripes in, the, in these colors, and I was like, oh my God, that's fall. I can't wait for fall. So I knew I wanted to do something similar. So this card is really simple. You'll notice there's no embellishments, and it's just cardstock. Um, the only die is that circle. So I think that the colors themselves do so much for the card that you really don't need to do a whole lot more. You could add a few little like, you know, pearls or whatever, or maybe twine across the top, but I don't think you need it. It's, it's hard for me to not like keep adding and adding, but that's what I did this time. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in. Every time I do this, I worry. Oh, I want you guys to be able, able to see coloring because I know that's important. Okay, so hopefully that stays. We're gonna color with Stampin' Blend State. And I did two clean recordings over on YouTube of these projects. This one I did not do. Um, it's pretty simple, so I didn't do a clean recording of it. Also, I ran out of time. <laughs> um, but on one of the videos, I mentioned these natural Stampin' Blends. I call them skin tone Stampin' Blends, but that's not what they're called. They're natural tone Stampin' Blends. And when we ordered them, when they were new, we ordered them in a big pack like this. Now they come in pairs like this. So in one of my videos, I said, you can get them in a big pack. I forgot that you can't get them in a big pack anymore. You can buy them as twos. And mine mine have numbers on them, but, but on online, it says like light, light medium, deep medium, dark. So I'm not 100% sure which are which. Um, I, I think you need them all, honestly, <laughs> because there are so many options. But I'm going to color my little folks here um, with whatever. And you can color yours with whatever you want. Um, you know, you can match the skin tone of your people, you know, your family, or you can match the skin tone to the person who you're giving the card to, like a teacher. Um, oh, God, there's somebody pulling up in my driveway, of course. Always. Um, <laughs> my husband sent me a text. Donnie's going to stop by and drop off, blah, 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 five minutes. That was like two hours ago. And now he's here. Hopefully the dogs don't see him. Okay. So, <laughs> Lois, I saw that you're driving. Um, yeah, rain. I know, Peggy. What is that, right? I know. I know a lot of us are in drought. A lot. You guys over in like the western part are like in a 20 year drought. So I know I shouldn't complain, but I still will. All right, we're gonna start with just real red light and I'm gonna use my bullet tip end because I feel like I have way better control that way. And I'm just gonna give her a full coating of light, real red. 
You guys, the reason I'm doing back to school cards is because my kids go back to school on Monday. Ooh, ooh. I know a lot of you already are back in school, but we are not. I swear we are the last ones in Texas to start school and we start Monday and I could not be more excited. It's my favorite time of the year. <laughs> you know, my kids are great, you know, but I just work a lot better when I'm not interrupted 18 times. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a lot better when I am not interrupted a thousand times a day. All right, so I did a little bit of dark down there to create a shadow. I'm gonna use for her hair, this is number 600, yeah, 600. Um, I don't know, this may be what I used last time, maybe not. I kind of just like to mix it all up. And I call these skin tones, that's not what they're called, but they're not just for skin, obviously. I've used them for a lot of other things, like we'll use them for the little dog today. Um, I used them for something recently, and now I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was not a human. <laughs> I remember it was like, I was felt so clever. Oh, I think it was a basket. Maybe it was the basket for the, um, you know, the uh, basket bundle that I can't remember the name of. Now these, you're not gonna have a light and dark of the same color. So you can add shadow just by layering on the same color or grabbing another one and adding in some shadow like that. Um, let's do this one, number 700 for her skin. Oh, it's very pink. I don't know, wait a minute. I don't know if I like that. No, no, it looks okay. Okay, there for a minute next to that red, it looked really pink. It does look really dark. So you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use this for the shadow. So you wanna put shadow under her hair and probably kind of under her glasses like that. And then let's take one that's, I think that one. Let's see what that looks like. Mm, no, let's try this one. Yeah, okay. And then take the, a lighter one and just kind of blend that shadow down like that and I'm gonna make her face a little bit darker by adding some layers and then just adding a little bit under her glasses so that looks a little bit different isn't she cute now hopefully you guys saw the um, bonus card I did yesterday um, with the same little girl in different color, uh, completely different colors. Um, I'll have two more bonus cards for you on Monday. I love this set. It's, I mean, I can make cards with this set all day long. Okay, so there we have her. Before I start attaching my little strips of cardstock, I'm gonna um, stamp this sentiment here. This has got some great, yes, yeah, Sue, cheerful basket. Couldn't remember. This set has great sentiments. Life is better with friends like you. Thank you for being part of my life, which is great for a teacher. We're gonna use that one on the last project. Um, nice to have you by my side. I think that would be cute too um, for a teacher. Hi, sweet friend, thinking of you today. You did it here for you. So, you know, they're all good. Okay, so here are my strips. Now, why do I have, oh, I know, because I was gonna make a, I'm like, why do I have two sets? But now I remember, I was gonna make a clean recording of the video and I didn't get to. All right, so let me tell you the colors that I have. Um, mango, Melody, Pumpkin Pie. Oh, it is Cherry Cobbler. I was thinking it was real red. Okay, Cherry Cobbler. So I should have probably used Cherry Cobbler on her dress, but I think it'll be okay. Then we've got uh, Pear Pizzazz, Old Olive, and mossy meadow. All right, so get them kind of situated where you want them. They are half an inch by about five and a half. You want them longer so that they will go all the way across and we're just gonna snip them off here in a minute. Put them all right next to each other. I love using strips of different colors. I do this a lot um, with my cards. So you guys, have you all started school where you are? I know a lot of people. Oh yeah, Shannon says, I can see myself masking a dog under her hand or a friend next to her. Yeah, that would be really cute, adding multiples in, different things in. Yeah, and you know, I noticed, I have a catalog out. 
If you look on page 52, look how they've put them together. That one comes together, but look, they've added the friends together too. Really cute. Really cute. So again, these colors are because it was like fall. It looks like fall is coming. Here fall comes in about November, but <laughs> Connecticut starts two weeks from yesterday, Carol. So is that like the day after Labor Day? No, that wouldn't be the day after Labor Day. That's that's a lot later, right? Like the two days after Labor Day? That feels really late. Where are my scissors? When I was a kid, I remember, when I, when I was real young, I think I remember starting after Labor Day. But then our district changed and... Uh, we started going in August, and my um, kids go to the same district I went to, and uh, they get out the first week of June, so it's not like, you know, the other schools do too. I think we just have less days off during the year than other schools, which I would like us to start earlier and have a few more sporadic days off throughout the year. I think teachers would probably like that too, because you know, August is a waste. Do, do you guys feel like that? It's like, I heard somebody compare it this week to Sunday. You know, Sunday, all you can think about is work. Work tomorrow, I gotta do my laundry, I gotta get ready, blah, blah, blah. Well, I feel like that's what August is too. We're all waiting for summer to be over, for school to start, everything, you know? So if it started earlier, we wouldn't have to feel like that all the way through August. Well, us here, I know you guys, wherever you are, may feel differently, but I don't know. Okay, so... I'm just going to put this on a crumb cake card base. And now that I'm finished, I feel like it needs something else. I don't know. I liked the simplicity of it when I was making it, but now I'm not so sure. I feel like maybe, maybe just twine across the top. Do I have twine over here? Let me see. Oh, I have some linen thread. Maybe just a little bit of linen thread like this maybe oh come on my neighbor just pulled in his driveway literally <laughs> he's like five feet away from me right now when you live in a cul-de-sac you're you know like the front yards are small but the backyards are big so we're all kind of on top of each other here in the front. Our bag is not that big either, but okay, yeah, I think I like that better. Either way, whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. All right, card number one is done. Simple. I don't know. I feel like cheating because it's so simple. Okay, but card number two is not simple. And that's why we wanted to keep card number one simple. I, I guarantee you're going to be like, okay, let's go back to card number one. All right, hold just a second. Hold on. Oh, gosh. I just ripped my earring out of my ear. I'm going to pull my hair out. It's getting hot in here, and I pulled my earring out. Okay, card number two, this little girl with a butterfly. Now, when I originally made this card, you'll see in the picture on my blog, there's no butterfly. Well, I had a brass butterfly on there, and it fell off. So we're going to not fussy cut the, the butterfly, but we are going to fussy cut her because she's very cute. And she just needs to be fussy cut. So let's start with our little girl. Let me see. Our little girl. We're going to stamp her in, where's my stamp? Memento. She reminds you of the, oh, this one right here, Jennifer, from Scooby-Doo. There was a girl. What was Velma? Was that her name? How do I remember that? I can't remember why I walked into a room, but I can remember something from Scooby-Doo. I think that was her name, right? Okay, we're gonna color her. We're gonna stick with the same kind of colors, but we're gonna do her skin in a different skin tone. So again, just take your real red light. And let's color her dress like that. And then um, oh, baking cookies, Cynthia. That sounds fun. What kind of cookies are you baking? That sounds fun. I've been on craving sweets lately. 
All right, let's do, um, let's do this one. And then we'll do her hair even darker. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna start over here and I want this part of her face to be lighter. Um, because she's facing up, that's where the sun, the light source would be. So I'm gonna add color, just like a full solid coat of color like that. Then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do more color down here because there would be more shadows, right? And then we'll just kind of pull that color up a little bit a little bit darker and then I'm just gonna real light come up here and then mm, I don't like that but go back up then let's get our color lifter and we can just kind of do a little bit of that and it'll lighten that up maybe two let's see what it does nope I think that's good let me look at the uh, video and see what it looks like. I can see the streaks of my marker and I don't want that, but we want it to be lighter. All right, there she is. She's very cute. All right, I'm gonna do her hair dark. Now she's got crazy curly hair. So she's gonna have all these little curly cues that stick out. And when we fussy cut her, we're going to cut those off. Don't worry, you won't miss them. And when we fussy cut this today, I'm gonna to tell you something, I'm gonna tell you to do something different, okay? All right, now, uh-oh, I forgot her legs and her her um, little hand, teeny tiny hand. Okay, so now, we're gonna fussy cut her. And usually, why, are, why do I not have scissors? Here we go. Usually I tell you, and you know what? I put my glasses over here today. I got glasses a while back and I need to start wearing them. It's so helpful. <laughs> um, so first, let's cut off all this excess cardstock, right? Cut that butterfly off. We're not messing with that. Usually I tell you to leave a white border around her, around your image, right? Like a little cloud. But we are mounting her on a dark color. So I feel like we need to cut, we don't wanna leave a lot of white around the edge. So I'm gonna cut right on the black line and try not to leave any white border. So you're gonna to need to go really slow around and around. Keep her in the middle of your little scissor blades. And I feel like I have to talk slow. Cut those curls off. Turn her with the opposite hand. She would be really cute, I feel like, with like orange hair, like real bright, you know, like a, like a redhead, that curly hair. She's real cute. All right, now listen, you guys, if this is too much fussy cutting for you, it's fine, just punch her out with a circle. Nobody's gonna be mad. I just like to make things, you know, difficult. I can't, I wish these had dies. I really do wish these had dies. I say that about a lot of stamp sets. And I love that they're bringing out new dies, but let's just give all of our stamp set dies, right? <laughs> Please. But then we couldn't afford all of them probably. All right, now her legs are real skinny, you guys, so you just go really slow. Otherwise, she's gonna be missing the leg. Do, 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 do. There needs to be some fussy cutting music. All right, we did pretty good. Now I can see a little bit of white right there, so I'm just gonna take my marker and color in little dots whatever I don't know why there's dots there okay I did pretty good my glasses they work well Ooh, but when I look at my computer it doesn't look right oh all right um I missed a question do you have an older video 
you recommend, hold on, let me go back and see. Because I missed that question. I can only see part of somebody's response. Do you have an older video you recommend we can watch next week? Shannon, so that's a good question. I actually was thinking about going back through and pulling one up and posting it next week for you guys. A Facebook Friday, an older one. I think I will do that. I'm glad you asked. Okay, so now, real red card base. And we've got a piece of white. We've got basic black. We've got a vellum circle. And then we've got Daffodil Delight and Knight of Navy. Now, we're going to use these two things that are free during celebration. I'm also using... Whoa. I'm also using a... Let's see, do we want to emboss first? Yes. <laughs> My dog didn't like that. He's like, I'm out of here. She's going to drop something on me. Um, I'm also using a celebration stamp set called Amazing Phrasing. This um, card has three celebration items. So this one is the gingham. Nope. Nope. This one, I have to, I have to play around with this one. You need plate two and then plate four. Let's see. Yes. So two and four on this one, which I don't understand why that is because usually... It's not thick. I don't know. I don't know. You guys, for your sandwiches, just look at look at the directions on your on your plates, or just keep trying them. <laughs> That's what I do. I don't read the directions, but cute, right? Gingham, gingham texture. All right, now bring plate three back. We don't need this one anymore. Um, this one we're gonna use, and I have it over here on the other tray. This is um, Blossoming Happiness. What are these dyes called? Uh, do, 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 do. Where is it on my list? See right here, you can look on your list. And did I not put it? Oh, you know what? I didn't because look, I ran out of room here. This, this card had so many things, but I did put it over here because we're using it over here. Blossoming Happiness dyes, okay? It has two little like things that you can make look like notebook paper, which I adore so put this right on the edge and do you think i need some post-it tape let's see right there and run that through um yeah shannon says for the tiny hairs i stamp the stamp on the background paper yes you can do that totally but we're putting this on vellum so I figured meh those little tiny hairs won't be missed but you can absolutely do that all right now for the Swiss cheese we're going to use daffodil delight and dots and spots and we're going to run this through I love these background dies these giant dies that make like a you know a big textured piece doesn't it look like cheese? It's not cheese. <laughs> it's just a fun piece of paper. There's no mouse on this card today, but it could be. We had a very cute mouse stamp set in the last catalog that that would go really well with. It makes a mess too. <laughs> okay, now we're not done yet. We're gonna do some embossing. Um, I love to do like the chalkboard look. And to do that, I'm gonna, I've got basic black and I'm gonna take my um, embossing buddy that came with this new um, embossing accessory kit. And I'm gonna kind of, you know, stomp it on there to, to give it that, see how, it, when you do that on black, it gives it that chalkboard look. Um, and we're gonna stamp this stamp right here, hey, um, from Amazing Phrasing. We're also going to use the You've Got This, um, which is, you know, let me tell you, I was a teacher. Teachers get nervous, too, at the beginning of school. Really nervous. <laughs> so this would be an awesome card for a teacher, but also for a kid who's nervous. Okay, now I'm going to make sure, because my craft White is not, it's... Not real juicy. I want to make sure I get all of that on there. All right. Hey. And then, oh, 
I need to get a new pad. Mine's like leaked out. It's a mess. We're going to take white. There's dimensional papers in there. White embossing powder. I don't need the tray since I have this in here. Okay. What are you doing? Snap, please. There we go. Let's grab our heat tool. Yesterday I was playing, or not yesterday, maybe the day before yesterday, I was playing with our new puff paint, puff snow, what's it called? Snowfall accent. It's the little white puff paint that's in the holiday catalog. We've had it before and I forgot how to use it. You put it on like puff paint and then you hit it with a heat tool. And it like, it's like a science experiment. It grows and it gets puffy and it's so cute. So we'll be using that. All right, so now you'll know it's done when it's nice and shiny. Oh, I should have left this open because we're gonna add a little bit more of the chalk look to this. Um, get a dauber like this and then just kind of add I guess it's the middle of my pad that needs to be ringing because the edges are good. And just add, you know, some smears of chalk around the edge. Okay, isn't that cute? That's an oldie but goodie. I've been doing that for a long time. Now I think we're ready. Oh no, we gotta stamp one more thing. That so you've got this at the bottom of our little notebook paper. real red and it just fits perfectly all right now we are ready to assemble Ooh, i thought i was gonna run real late today and i think maybe i won't do i have adhesive i used adhesive before didn't i here it is all right i'm gonna put the gingham paper, Knight of Navy, at an angle like that. Well, that's a little bit too much, like that. Then I'm gonna take my scissors and snip the edges to match the edge of the card. Okay, kinda like we did on the previous card. Then I'm gonna take my Tombow liquid glue Okay, hold on, Facebook's freezing up on me. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Um, and then I'm just gonna do little dots, little tiny dots because the glue will squish out between the holes. So just kind of, I mean, you don't need to put a ton of glue, but just equally spaced glue. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna angle it the other way. Okay, and now we're gonna take dimensionals. And you know what, I have this big dimensional sheet. This is, these are our adhesive sheets that I cut a circle out of. Let's just cut it up and use it. I like using these big pieces for things like this. All right, so we'll just put one up here and one down here and we're going to put this kind of straight so those are angled but that is straight and now guess what more dimensionals this is this card's going to need an extra postage okay and then we'll put that right there so cute now i am going to use little dimensionals here because those are too big we don't want them to show through our vellum. So we're gonna put her, I may need a little one there. Do I need a little one there? Oh no, I think it fit, let's see. Yeah, okay, so put her on the vellum circle and then flip it over and put two dimensionals right there. Thanks, Kimberly. I saw your email, Kimberly, I didn't respond. I saw it right before I went live. I'm glad you got that figured out. I don't know why that happens. All right, now let's clean up our mess. And the very last thing is we're gonna do some twine around the top like we did. 
You know what? My twine is missing and I know why. The other day, I found this twine in the, in the living room, all unraveled because Pepper loves twine. I must have dropped it on the floor and I didn't know where it came from. I didn't know where, how she got it. So it must have fallen off when I was doing my recording. Yesterday, uh, Club Crate's getting twine in their package and so in their kit this month. And so Ted and I were cutting up open package, sorting them all out and Pepper knew what we were doing and she was standing at my feet barking like, Wah! you know, like she was wanting me to drop the twine, like it was food. I will never understand her obsession with twine. <laughs> it's so bizarre. All right, so that is in color twine, the starry sky, but it looks fine with Night of Navy, don't you think? And there you go. Look, she's so cute. Three different shades of skin color for her. She's cute. I used different markers. I don't know which ones I used, but any of them work. All right, you guys like? So cute. Okay one more project and I feel like I'm going to need to zoom the camera out this time because it's a 3D project. Let's see. Let's see what how how far zoomed in we are. Okay, so this I had an idea for this. I wanted to make a little lunch box. Um, a treat box, a gift box that looked like a lunch box. So that's what I came up with and it opens like this. And inside, two hand sanitizers fit, but really, oh, it's UPS. Man, I thought it was thunder. Darn it. <laughs> but really, candy, notepad, whatever, lotion, I don't know, whatever you want. But two little san hand sanitizers fit in there like that, okay? Cute, right? It even opens like a little lunchbox, a little boop. All right, so let's make our box first because it's going to need to dry. Um, Real Red is what we're using. Let me get it off the tray here. And where did I put my Simply Score? Here it is. Now, the measurements for this and the measurements for all of these, remember, they're here on the bottom of this PDF. And everything that I told you about the beginning is here as well. Um, okay, so this is six and a fourth by nine and three fourths. Okay, I don't think I have to zoom out. Looks okay. Um, we're going to score the long side at one and a fourth, four and a fourth, five and a half, and eight and a half. Turn it, and we're going to score the short side at one and a fourth and five. This is, the inside is a clamshell box. We've made lots of clamshell boxes, so you'll recognize this. We're gonna burnish those lines. At least I thought this was a good back to school gift too, or teacher appreciation, right? I mean, the tag says, thank you for being part of my life. So teacher appreciation comes in May. So if you remember in May, you can come back and make this. All right, so snip the score lines on the long sides and cut the corners off those square tabs. My girls are going to be in eighth grade and a sophomore. And then my oldest is a sophomore in college. So I really don't feel like I have, you know, I mean, I, I don't know their teachers. They're embarrassed to take things to school if I was to give them something. Or they'll say, I only want to take it to so-and-so. Like they only like one teacher or maybe two. So I'm kind of sad I have a friend who has a daughter that's starting kindergarten and she's been, they've been walking to school this week, practicing for next week. And I was like, oh my gosh, that makes me so sad. I miss those days. The days are long, but the years are short. That, that saying could not be any truer. I mean, it feels like yesterday I was walking my kids to school every day, but it was a while, it was at least three years ago. Ugh, it goes by so fast. Okay, so once you've done that, now that we're all sad, you're gonna get your glue and we're gonna put glue on the outside of all six tabs. I'm gonna do the first four first. And then fold in and use 
a clothespin to hold that closed like that and like that make sure you're matching those edges okay and then this one will fold into these sides this will be the the lid that closes over the box like that okay so now set that aside to dry and let's make our little our little tag our little guy so cute now i have two pieces of white here i have to remember which one is the tag and which one do i stamp on this is the tag right here didn't i hmm i thought i had done that already i thought i had cut where did I do with that? Oh, it's right here. I did. I'm like, I know I did that ahead of time. Okay, so I don't know what that piece is. This, oh yeah, no, I do know what that piece is. This is the piece we still on. <laughs> I should label them if I'm going to cut them this small. Good grief. All right. Little boy and his dog. So cute. Thanks for sharing the video, guys. I really appreciate that. And if you share, let me know that you shared so that I can put you in next week or week after next to win a prize. All right, again, real red. My real red marker is getting a workout today. I just really wanted to stick with these kind of primary back to school colors. So next week I'll be gone, you guys. If you weren't here in the beginning, I won't be here next week. Oh. Okay, we gotta do that again. I gave him a onesie. I'm not, he does not need a onesie. I don't know what I was doing. Let's try that again. The first time I did this, I did the exact same thing. I colored his shorts the same color as his shirt. Okay, just his shirt. So what I was saying again, I'm not gonna be here next week, you guys going to be in New Orleans with all the other Stampin' Up! demonstrators who are going to Backstage. It's called Backstage, and this event, this is the third Backstage that we've had, but only the first one we've had in person, so we're all excited because we haven't, you know, we haven't done things in, in person in a while, and so we're all excited. It's going to be fun. I really thought there would be a hurricane this time of year is hurricane time, usually in New Orleans. I don't know what's happening in the tropics. There's no hurricane, which I'm glad. All right. His shorts are Tahitian tied. I like Tahitian tied. It goes good with this little color scheme. All right, I'm going to make him a little blondie. So I'm going to take So Saffron, color his hair light. And I'm just gonna kind of flick that color up there at the top so it'll be really light up there. And we'll take the dark, and it's gonna be more dark here at the front, like that, and underneath that. Then go back with your light and blend, 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 blend. Okay. Now we're gonna give him a light skin tone. We'll do know which ones are the because I looked at them online and they don't have the numbers there's light there's light medium I don't know let's see what this one is oh this one seems dark okay well this will be the shadow on his under his hair okay let's see this one this one seems dark too I really should be testing these before I color him but we're just going to go with it because that's what I'm doing. All right, so it's going to be a little bit darker. He's going to have shadow under his hair. And probably the side of his face will be darker too because he's turned away from the light. A little shadow right there. Now it looks like he has a beard. <laughs> I have to step back and look at it. Okay, it looks okay. His arms his legs. Oh, you know what? I, I probably should have given him shoes, huh? And not flesh colored shoes. Well, maybe he's barefoot. We'll go with that. He's barefoot. 
Um, let's color the dog. Oh, this, I don't know, is this too dark? He's a wiener dog. Oh, that's really dark, but I kind of like it. Let's do it. Oh, I don't know, this may be too dark for our little dog. Wiener dogs are so cute. He needs to be more red. You know what? Did I throw that other one away? Okay, we'll kind of we'll color the dog. I don't like that color for that. Let's do this one. Oh yeah, this is better. This is more like a red brown. A little bit of shadow, just a little extra color there on the back side. He's sunburned. <laughs> Hi, Emery. Um, yeah, he's he's sunburned. He he went to the lake the weekend before school started. All right, now just a little bit more fussy cutting. If you don't like the fussy cutting, stamp them right on the tag. Okay, that guy's messed up. Now this one, we are mounting on a white piece of cardstock. So we can just leave a little white border around him. I like to do that because then I don't have to be so careful when I'm cutting. If I, you know, have kind of jaggedy cuts, you're not gonna really see them so much because your eye is gonna see the dog and not the white paper around him. Amory, is it raining yet? Better start raining. I'm going to be mad. You know what's going to happen is I'm going to go out of town next week and it's going to rain. All the Like two times that it's rained this summer, I was out of town both times. And I felt really gypped. Because so I want to be here. And Ted said, I don't care if it rains when, when we're not there. I'm, I just want it to rain. I'm like, okay, fine. But I want it to rain while I'm here too. Even my kids are like, oh my gosh, is it going to rain? It's funny how you miss those things. All right, now he's got two little sprouty hairs up here. His little calyx sticking up. I'm just cutting them off. Sorry, buddy. You probably didn't like your little calyx anyway. Around and around we go. He kind of reminds me of Charlie Brown, his little outfit. Okay, he's got little tiny legs too with his flesh colored shoes. Not yet, Emery. It looks, well, it looked dark back the, up north ways, but now it doesn't look so dark. I jinxed it. I should have left the blinds closed. Okay, so now we've got that. I have cut out a Tahitian Tide Glimmer Heart. You know, we have. Um, Glimmer paper in our in in the in colors this year's in colors, so we're gonna put that right there, and we'll put this feels longer than that one. Is it longer? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we need to just trim it a little bit. Do you think I can do it straight? Let's see. Yeah, pretty straight. Good enough. Okay. And then our little dog, he's going to need a mini dimensional because he's little. Boop, 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 boop. There he is. And oh, you know why it was long? Because I didn't stamp the words. All right, that's all right. I can fix it. It was longer, though. It was too long because it was longer than that one. Let's just turn it over. Cardstock has two sides for a reason so that when you mess up, let me see, do I need to turn it over? Yeah, because now I've smeared ink on it. Okay, that's all right. Thank you for being part of my life. Now, heart, little dude, little dog. Crisis averted. Now, I've got these two pieces of real red that are five by three and a half. I cut a piece of the cottage Gingham Cottage DSP. And you know what? I didn't put that on the list. I think it is an inch shorter all the way around, but let me tell you what it is. It is four by two and a half. Yeah, so just an inch. 
you know, an inch border. Okay, so King, gingham, cottage gingham, gingham cottage. This real red <laughs> part of this pack, like, I'm going to have like three packs and none of them are going to have real red because I've been using it a ton. All right, so that goes right there. Now for this, and you know what? Did I have that punch? Yes, this cute little punch, the best label punch, it's new. And we're gonna punch out silver foil. For the handle, you guys, I used this frame from the Fabulous Frames dies, and it's just the top half, okay? Just the top half. So I'm gonna put adhesive like that. And we're gonna stick that down about right there. Is that even? I can't tell. And then the little latch for the lunchbox, we're gonna put kind of sticking up a little bit like that. And for this guy, we'll use those big dimensionals that we made earlier. We'll just put one right there in the middle and we're gonna put him like that. And then my favorite ribbon, a black and white gingham. I bought a stapler today at Target. That is black and white gingham. Hello, did I need a new stapler? No. Could I have walked away from that stapler? Also, no. So now I have three staplers. <laughs> I mean, it was like, hello, you need me. You're, I'm black and white gingham and I'm a stapler. All right, so there's the front of our lunchbox. This is the back. I did not decorate the back. If you want to decorate the back, you, you go, you do it. But I just didn't want to. All right, take off all your clothespins and fill it with whatever. Two hand sanitizers fit perfectly and it closes like that, okay? So we're gonna put the front and back on here. Come on. I'm gonna be generous with the glue. Does, is that cringy to, to see me do it like that? As my girls would say, it's cringy, mom. Okay, I'm gonna put that there and then I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna eyeball it to make it right in the middle. Okay, so right about there. Now there is a clean recording of this one and that previous one over on YouTube. So if you wanna come back to make this, you can go over there and watch a real quick, well, it's not real quick, it's like 15 minutes, but it's quicker than this and it's less talking. <laughs> so if you wanna hear less talking, that's where you'd go. Okay, and there it is. And it would open, well, it's not dry yet. So let's look at this one. Again, it opens like that. Okay, what do you guys think? It might be one of my favorite things I've made in a long time. He's so cute. I wonder if my girls will take this to their teacher. <laughs> I bet that's a big fat no, especially the middle schooler. That would be so embarrassing, as she says. Everything's embarrassing, mom. So embarrassing. Okay, now let me show you a few other things. Hold on, let me let me clean up this gigantic mess that I've made. All right, so this is what we've made today. These two and this one. Let me just move one of those out of the way. And then this one. So if you want these three make and takes for free, oh, let's see if I can zoom out now. Will it let me? Mm, I don't think so. It's not gonna let me. I'm gonna hang up. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. Here's the host code. I'll move it down instead of trying to zoom out. It's on your PDF, it's on the blog post. If you want these for free, your order needs to be in Monday by midnight, minimum $35. You can order anything you want. Anything you want. I don't care. I'm not even gonna look. Um, as long as it meets those criteria, I will send you these for free. But you will need this stamp set, you know. The, the little Swiss cheese die <laughs> and the gingham embossing folder. Everything else I'll send to you. Okay, so that's that. Um, here are some bonus cards. Here's yesterday's card. Look, she looks so different. I guess the colors are similar, but her coloring is different. That one looks like it's smeared. 
I did use cherry cobbler there. All right, so there she is, super cute. Got on the inside. Happy birthday. All right, then this one, here's a little guy with a chevron paper. This is the, what's the paper called? Celebrate Everything from the holiday catalog. Look, look, do, 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 do. you are amazing. All right, that's also from that amazing phrasing. Was I holding it up too far? Oh yeah, I was, how about that? I wasn't looking. And then there, doop, 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 doop. Okay, and then one more, the little girl. Cute, cute, cute. And then, thanks for being a part of my life. More pastels. Okay, I will post these two on Monday for you to look at closer. Um, and remember, no Facebook Live next week. I will post something. I don't know what. It might be a rerun. Probably will be. You guys, I appreciate you. I hope you have a great weekend. And I will see you in a couple weeks. I'll post pictures from New Orleans, too, um, so you guys can see what we're doing there. Um, and that's that. All right, you guys, have a great one. Thanks. Bye.